My husband is in the kitchen right now making an awful lot of noise. <laughs> Did you just give me a sideways glance? Welcome back to the yard. So we're out here today planting. I have some sunflower seeds. Whoa, what happened to the seeds? I lost them. Um, so I am gonna start by laying down some fertilizer and then we will plant the seeds right on top of this little track and then we'll put a thin layer of soil over the top. They're only supposed to be about an inch deep when you plant them. So I think that should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, get some fertilizer in here. You wanna help me, bud? Yeah. Okay. So let's get in touch with our inner child and go inside this tent because it's actually kind of cozy. Oh, there's somebody in there, it's occupied. And then we're gonna go on into the tent. You wanna come in with me, Ronan? It's really nice in here. This could be a good place for mommy to just escape and maybe do some knitting, which I have every intention of doing today because I have a lot of knitting that I wanna get done. Yeah, so welcome to the tent. He looks like he loves this mask. Ronan, how do you feel? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is adorable. Wait a second, I don't have my eyes. <laughs> I don't have my eyes yet. Here are my eyes. I see him. Look at you. I don't know how I feel about this mask. It looks like it needs to get tucked in somewhere. Yeah, no, see, I like that one. That's my favorite. You look very hero heroic and handsome and Ronan you just are knocking it out bud you look like you know how to be a superhero <laughs> there you go sweet cheeks oh all right now I'm going inside to be an adult for a little while sitting down to have some coffee and do some knitting which I feel like in the last couple episodes of this vlog series I haven't done much of and in reality um, I've done a little bit more than nothing but I haven't done very much so I'm gonna do that right now I'm watching um, on YouTube like what is this? eight out of ten cats oh just a uh, big fat quiz so there's you can watch like um, well, I recommend, the highly recommend the Taskmaster channel on YouTube. So Taskmaster is a um, uh, game show type show that comes out of um, the UK. And it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. It has Greg Davies as the host who I have come to absolutely love because he's hilarious. But then we also start watching back like best of 8 out of 10 cats do countdown and then this big fat quiz. 
and it's it's really funny so if you need something funny to watch to kind of like binge watch definitely recommend taskmaster and then like eight out of ten cats or eight out of ten cats do countdown really good yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing right now and i have so my husband is in the kitchen right now making an awful lot of noise <laughs> did you just give me a sideways glance oh He's gonna come over and, and join us here in a second. But um, I am in the process of working on a new hat pattern. That's, that's it, man, right there. And um, it's a bulky weight hat pattern and the colors that I'm using are super like fall, winter colors, but I had them and I just think that I couldn't help myself. This is what it looks like so far. Um, it's really beautiful. I love the colors together. So this is um, Espresso Roast. And actually, this is a darker version of my Espresso Rose colorway. I'm, I've kind of changed the colorway since uh, having having it in the past. So this is a little bit darker, but this is Espresso Roast. And then we have this like beautiful teal blue color up here that's called Sapphire. And then this is Onyx, which it's, the contrast is subtle, but it's beautiful. And it's like a, it's a black. And then this is the leather colorway down here, which I actually dyed uh, just, just the other day. So um, I have the cakes here. So this is the sapphire. Yeah, there we go. So sapphire and then onyx and then leather and then espresso roast. Kind of made the espresso roast color a little bit more brown. So that's that. So all of those together are simply gorgeous. So here they are all together. But yeah, so I'm doing, um, I'm using these to make a color work hat that I'm actually gonna be putting into the shop, the pattern that is, will be going into the shop um, soon because I'm so close to being finished. I mean, look at this. Um, love it, love it so far. This, I think I'll have it in two different sizes. So this one's kind of a smaller size and then the color work of course makes it a little bit uh, more snug. So I'll have it in a couple different sizes and um, yeah, so anyway, that's what I am working on right now. And then later I'm gonna pull out my um, hipster shawl by Hohi Locatelli, which is right here. Now this is also the leather colorway. This is on the um, new, I have a new base in the shop that's a 100% um, extra fine organic merino worsted. And so it's non-superwash, organic, beautiful yarn. It's such like a beautiful plump. I wouldn't say it's rustic because it's still very soft, but it's definitely got like a nice, um, I don't know, farmy hand. It's really beautiful. Let's see if this will. There we go. Yeah, it's so pretty. This is all I have left of the cake I'm currently working on, but. Love it. So that is probably gonna be working, or getting some work done on it too. Um, and then maybe I'll throw in some rows on the Rift sweater that I'm doing for my husband. I haven't gotten too far with it yet, but I'm doing this on the same yarn base as my leather for the hipster shawl, but it's in a new color. Um, it's kind of like a new gray blue color uh, called Neat, N-E-A-T and it's beautiful so that's the that's all i've gotten done on it so far so i've got some knitting i need to do i'm gonna do this and then when my littlest wakes up from his nap the boys and i are going to make cookies and i have prepped everything in the kitchen it's cute and all the nice little bowls ready to go so it should be pretty easy to throw some cookies together with my little ones and it looks like um the mister is getting ready to do some puzzling over at the dining table so, yeah, we're all set with some hobbies to uh, get cozy for a little while, so join me. This must be newish. He looks a little bit older there.
Okay, so we are getting a little bit um, peckish. So I am gonna put together some nachos the way that I like to do it, but my husband also likes to do it. It's delicious um, and it's super easy. So um, yeah, let's make some nachos. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen. Um, the boy and I, the, the, my oldest, Angus, he and I are going to make cookies together, just the two of us. Um, my littlest is still sleeping, and though I said that we were gonna do it together, um, I think it would be easier if we uh, just did it, he and I. So we're gonna get ourselves ready, and we're gonna make some sugar cookies. I'm using a recipe that I found on Pinterest, of all places. Okay, I'm gonna pull up. Good. I'm gonna pull up a... Uh, my recipe, okay? Okay. Okay, so the recipe that we're using is from Southern Plate. The cookies are really yummy looking. You can kind of see them there. But I'll, like I said, I'll link to this down below in the description box and you can check it out there. Um, but we need to get started. Okay, you ready to get started? I just want a cookie cutter. You want a cookie cutter? I don't know if I have any cookie cutters and I don't think these are the kind of cookies that you use a cookie cutter for. You want something to use? I have something for you to use. But you need to smile for me.
<laughs> Do you think we should let Daddy have some of these cookies? Yeah. I think so too. I don't think I've ever had sugar cookies in milk before. <laughs> Chocolate sugar cookies. You think you're gonna be able to go to bed tonight?